It's Python on Hardware time. This week it's going to be a little bit different because we have a fun preview of, well, a preview for some people, of um, a magazine, Make. Um, but first, just a little bit of reminder, uh, you can get all the news. It's fit to uh, slink, I guess, <laughs> Python. Um, this week, why developers love Python, Raspberry Pi display, USB hub. There is a whole bunch of projects. It goes on forever and ever. You can start a project. You can see what's going on. You can stay tuned to developments in MicroPython, in CircuitPython, in regular old Big Python, um, all this and more. But uh, what I wanted to show this week was, um, so Hackspace and um, the Raspberry Pi magazine combined, and we would normally cover some of the articles in Hackspace because they had like a Circuit Python section or whatever. So now we're whatever is the Raspberry Pi version with Hackspace combined, we're doing. And Make just had a board guide, so every year we try to cover the board guide as well. So um, since I started doing this, I think um, all of the magazine publishers have like a PDF now. It's hard to do some of these segments if it's the um, Back in the day, there was the like the web only interface for some yeah. of these, but now you can pretty much get a PDF from any, any magazine. So um, we're going to be covering some of this stuff. Buy a copy of the Make PDF if you like these things, or subscribe to the physical print magazine, whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, let's go over to Make. This is the cover of the magazine. This is uh, issue ninety one, I believe. Ooh, some eight different I was, stuff on the cover. Yeah, yeah. I was there. F I think the first twenty issues or something like that. That's when I was senior editor. Of course, my glasses fell on the ground right before I did this, and like the. Do you want me to just start going? To no, it's just how it goes. I was. Just I mean, they're like, extremely cool glasses, but like not cool enough. They keep cracking. Yeah, they keep falling apart, and if they're just reading glasses, because after like six o'clock, I can't really see because I'm like awake all the time. Anyway, this is kind of this is kind of my life right now. I think this is kind of okay. Yeah. Is it okay, good enough. Well, I don't know. No, no. it's all falling apart. Okay. Everything's falling apart. Live show. It's yeah. live. Okay, yeah, it's cloudy. Can I'm you like squint and just do one eye? Yeah, so anyways, um, so this is the cover, and then um, if you look, let's uh, quickly go to page 20, which is the start of the board beep, guide. Beep, so you can board. see some of our boards here. Um, I kind of like this. Uh, there's a little segment about Adafruit going to Brooklyn, and then um, here's keyboard from JP. a keyboard from JP, which is a little, um, uh, the Doom keyboard. So Doom yes. playing on there. So, um, this was just the, the, these are the Linux boards. I mean, I mean, single board Linux computers, a lot of them do have um, Blinka support, and then you have to skip all the way yeah, down. Yeah, so, so anyways, this is where the board guide starts, and because it's yeah. a pullout, um, we're going to go all the way, because this is the, the <laughs> PDF. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, I like that they had, like, different sections. Yeah. So why we're talking about this is it's a very different board guide over the years because pretty much everything can almost run Python. Yeah. Like, this is a a different world than, you know, a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, they actually even, like, a whole new Python now. Yeah, Nanopi. so Guide to Boards 2025, brought to yeah. you by DigiKey. Um, Lady, what do you think of uh, all this? Um, RP2350 got some update, you know, some, you know, a lot of boards came out with it. Um, I like that the praiseworthy boards, they kind of went with, like, off the beaten path stuff, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, these are definitely like weird and interesting. Like, I'm into like weird and interesting, so these are definitely all not like weird in a good way. They're like unique. Well, that's the whole point. So, one of the things people always say is like, hey, different, why don't you do like a giant comparison chart? We're like, yeah. no, Make does it every year. And, they yeah. do, and they'll do, they'll be able to, they're going to put in more stuff than we would because obviously we would put all our, ours in. Yeah. Does it make sense to have every single Adafruit board in here? It okay, be so yeah, I like the round boards. I also, you know, we stock some of these. Um, the M5 stack dial is cool. There's some vision boards. Um, so these are some of the some of the neat things that they've come. A lot of them are very fast too. I've noticed it's like you know, the, these are the clock speeds of these boards. The single board computers and 1.4 gigahertz. Even the microcontrollers are you know 150 megahertz minimum. Um, just kind of fascinating. It's like you know having come from like. Pick twelve C five oh eight. It's like when you get one megahertz, you know, now it's like that's nothing. That's you know, your sub peripherals are at that speed. Um a lot of AI, like a lot of AI on the edge boards, S threes, NVIDIA Jetson, Pi Five of course, which has AI. 
in it. Um, education, this is where they, they start using our stuff. I like, you know, we, we do a lot of uh, education stuff. So I like that they had the Microbit V2, the Circuit Playground Express, the Cricut, um, the Makey Bit, which is an add on to the Microbit. I think these are solid. Wearables, of course, the Flora, Lily Pad, and Circuit Playground Express are there. Lily Pad's still holding on strong. There's still a lot of projects with Lily Pad. Which is great. Um, and the floor is actually get, getting a little bit long in the tooth, but you know we still sell quite a few of them as well. And of course, um, all of our feathers. The floor yeah. can't run circuit. Dave has, a, Dave has some faves there too. You see Dave's fave the yeah, floor? he likes yeah. the CPX and the Gemma M Zero, and then of course the Cutie Pie and Shao. I think the Cutie Pie and Shao range is great. I love the Shao. I mean, there's a reason I made. I saw yeah. the Shao boards. I was like, oh my god, such a good idea. Yeah. Um, and like, we still have the trinkets, but we've kind of like, I pretty much just. Do cutie pie chow. Yeah. LED drivers. Um, you know, of course, the plasma 2350 is great new chip. The Pixel Blaze, we stock it. Um, is really good in the uh, Pimeroni plasma. Um, the Scorpio, you know, we released that a year or two ago. And it's, you know, this is the RP2040, but it's got that eight-channel DMA output with dithering. So a great... Board, if you're if you're looking for something that has eight channels, can do dithering, so you get like a little bit more dynamic range. Um, check out the Scorpio, but also the the Plasma is really good. IoT, of course, there's tons of ESP boards out there. I like um, there's some Wi-Fi. They showed off the new particle board yep. that's coming out. Um, ESP, you know, again, ESP three two C six S three. Artemis Global Tracker, um, you know, cellular is becoming easy. Wi-Fi is true. You know, Wi-Fi used to be so hard to do. It's now built into, like, almost every channel. Now it's just assumed. Now it's it's just like, like, oh, like, you're oh. Te- like Wi-Fi is just there always. Um, and, like then, the and then this, I kind of like, this was board horn. This was like, well, you know, there's other really cool ones. Um, yeah. I, the TDFX board is such a good idea. That's from Pimeroni. And then um, this Matrix Portal S3. And then I love the M5 stack card. They, they've actually picked out some of that really interesting yeah. stuff. They did a good job of like, I like that it isn't just like, here's another Arduino compatible. They did a good job. They did a I good like this job. a lot because you know what? This is actually what the maker market is. I think, and I think I'm a, I think I'm the right person. I think this is the best board guide so far that makes done. Yeah. Because it's a menagerie of hardware that everyone's doing and it's very current. And of course, all the ESP32s. Yeah. All the RP2350 and RP2040s can run CircuitPython or MicroPython. Yeah. Um, one thing I am noticing is the SAMD series is kind of not, it's not. We'll see. There's my you know. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll have highlights and more. Um, this can be delivered, um, these type of news items in your inbox every single week. AdafruitDaily.com. No spam. No harvesting. We don't track. We just try to get you this newsletter out to you.